Hi, Scott here, demondemon.com, and today we're looking at repurposing content. Um, this is a problem that occurs. Sometimes you're in a niche, and it's a it's a sub niche. And I, if I go back to my old dog training um, sort of example, that I always use. Imagine you wanted a Shih Tzu dog training, Shih Tzu puppy training. That's quite specific. Not only is it the dog niche, but it's the puppy part of the dog niche, and it's a sub sub niche because it's Shih Tzu puppy training. And you're looking for content for it. And you know this this is a little bit this isn't the whitest of white hat because you're looking for other people's content to either use as your muse or to repurpose or to syndicate or whatever. And I've got the output here from um, uh, Content Machine, and it's actually do with the sport cricket. Now imagine now again it's a niche, and I want to repurpose this stuff. So imagine you, whatever your niche is, you just want to repurpose it to something else. So in this case, rather than the dog training niche, I've got cricket and I, oh, I've got a load of content about cricket and I want it to be about baseball. It's the wrong thing. So I'll have a look at some of the content. I'll open one up. Okay, and what I'm looking for here are some common phrases which are in the sport of cricket which really wouldn't be in, in baseball. Now immediately I've got Indian Premier League. That doesn't exist that's a, a cricket league, it's a major cricket league. Okay, so that needs changing. The name cricket itself needs changing. I can see uh, centuries, which is when somebody scores 100 runs, that needs going. Uh, stumps, that needs going. Um, wickets, that needs going. Uh, runs are fine. Bowler, that needs going. Uh, uh, cricket bats, that's okay, because if you change cricket, you can change cricket back to baseball bat. Okay, so I'm looking down there and I'm, I'm finding several phrases down in this super spun block here, which Content Machine has produced in this block, uh, <clears throat> that I'm going to want to change. So, how do I go about doing that? Okay, meet me back for part two and I'll show you exactly what you do. Okay, we're back and I've done a few things here and I'll show you what I've done. First thing is, I've created a mini list here of words that I want to change from the one niche to another. So I want to change cricket to baseball, but you may want to change puppy training to shih tzu training, or uh, patio furniture to patio heaters, or whatever your niche is. You want to, you know, you found a, a source of content on a broad niche, and you want to repurpose that content to a specific small niche that you're in. This is this is how you do it, and you need to go through a couple of the articles and find out which words jar and how you can creatively replace them. And once you get in the hang of this, it really is just a few seconds to do. And I'll give you some examples here. For the space of cricket, the, the sport, replace it with baseball. Indian Premier League, I want to replace with Major League Baseball. Wickets, I want to replace with bases. Innings with at bats, sixes with home runs, fours with base hits. There is some anomalies there, and experts will know that's not quite. Right, it's not going to read right, but to Google it will read very well. To an expert in the sport, not so well. It won't be too jarring, and you could you could double this list easily. You should really probably go for about ten. So you've got this huge list of files, uh, and it's created hundreds of times. You go into each file, search and replace, blah blah blah. No need to do that because there's a tool that will do it all for you. It's called notepad plus plus it's free it's download and i'll put the link and the demon demon file which comes with this now what i've done just for to save myself a bit of disk space and messing about i've just put 10 of those files there these are pretty big files i think they're all a couple of, nearly a couple of megabytes yeah well over a megabyte in size um and and content machine created about 100 of these they're huge everyone probably can make a few hundred thousand decent um spins uh, so there we are you can see it's got um, uh, blah 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 cricket streaming it's they're full of things of cricket so let's just do the first one and uh, this is on C cricket that's where I put this block so I'll shift that out of the way and now I'm going to use one of the features of notepad plus plus and it's going to be search replace and it's on find and replace but what I want to do is click this tab here to find in files then I'm going to want to replace, obviously I've been messing about with it, doing a bit of practice, but I want to replace cricket with baseball. Now make sure you choose the correct directory. So you put all these, this content you found in one specific directory, you create a new one, and then you make sure this is pointing to it. It's got the little dialog tab here, it's 
top of, top of C drive, folders cricket, as the one I just showed you. Make sure it's pointing to it, otherwise it could potentially go through your entire hard drive, replacing all of one word for another, including all your dot doc folders, dot bat folder. You, you could mess quite a few things up, so make sure you point to it. Um, I'm doing match case, so if something's capitalised at the beginning of a sentence, it, it retains that. Then I'm going to do replace in files, are you sure? and it's replaced 17,536 occurrences. Let's drag this back across, that's a lot of occurrences. It keeps opening the files in the next folder. Indian Premier League blah blah blah, Indian Premier League live baseball streaming. Okay, so I've replaced cricket with baseball. Now how quick would it be now just to replace Indian Premier League for Major League Baseball? You saw how quick it was, it took barely two seconds. So the time it takes to type in Indian Premier League, time it takes to replace, to replace that with Major League Baseball, press go and um, I'll move this out of the way. So if you went here, you put Indian Premier League there, uh, put Major League Baseball there, did it again, two seconds later it replaced all of those. And if you go through your whole list of uh, files, uh, of uh, replacements, this little list of replacements is five, you could add you know, a few more, and you've repurposed the content and it would probably take you, you'd have to change out of 10 minutes to repurpose a load of content. Really, really simple. Um, you, you can use content from anywhere, obviously I've used it from Content Machine, but you can use content from anywhere and totally repurpose it. So if you're, it's particularly useful if you're in a niche where you want to scrape content, there really isn't very much there. But you can find other, you know, you can find something similar, or it's a, it's a sub-niche of something larger. So like I said, if it was patio heaters, you can't find much content on patio heaters, but you can find a load of content on patio furniture, or even just patios, you can replace that, replace references to patios to patio heaters, or patio furniture to patio heaters, references to, you know, decking to uh, heat output and whatever you know just be creative and replace some of the some of the phrases with other ones and although it won't produce perfect content for human readability it'd be excellent first and second tier content um, we might even get click through and it's repurposed it so this is just a way of you guys particularly you micro niche guys who just need content need a way of getting it uh, there's nothing there uh, this is how you could do it. It takes 10 minutes of thought to come up with a list like this and then while Content Machine's running you can be doing this list. Crack open Notepad 2 at the end of it, drag the files across, do a search and replace in the folder that Content Machine has created uh, for these phrases. Go through them one at a time. The whole process would take well, a few seconds per line, so if you did 20 lines, you know, 5 or 10 minutes, job done, and then you've got a load of content which would then be uh, usable for however you want to do it. You can create your Ultimate Demon campaigns, your SE New campaigns, you know, your manual posting, whatever you want. Very, very simple. Okay, well, I hope that's answered some questions to you guys who are struggling with getting um, niches sorted out. Uh, Squitty at demondemon.com, signing off.